Be you, Shaolin Go. Uh, unfortunately, a one to nothing loss uh, here in the American East opener to BU. And in the first half, it seemed kind of quiet for both teams. So, what did you say at halftime? Um, did I have a good assessment of it? Nothing really happened in the first half. Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, I think both teams feeling each other out a little bit. It's the first game so in the league, so I don't think anyone wanted to take too many risks early on. So, I think it was kind of a cautious start to the game. And, and you know, then there was one or two chances for each in the first half. You know, of course, the goalkeeper into an error early on. Nothing really materialized out of it. So, you know, I think it was just a feeling out process. And in the second half, you know, I, I thought you know, we were able to step up a little higher, but we still didn't create enough good chances in the final third. And that, that was in the end of the day, that was probably the toughest part of us. It looked like uh, throughout the course of the entire game, uh, BU would take uh, segments out, whether six minutes, ten minutes, they would control the ball and be on the offensive attack for a good chunk of time. You guys came up uh, strong on the majority of the time. It seemed like when they scored the goal, uh, they weren't in one of those modes. Is that safe to say that they control the ball very well? Yeah, I mean, they're a good possession team. You know, they're a very good team. They got very technical and quick players. They did a really good job keeping possession of the ball. And we knew that would be the case. We said to our guys, be patient because they're going to have some moments that they have the ball for a little bit. Um, but, you know, in soccer, you got to score. So all the possession in the world is one thing, but they did get the goal out of it by the end. And it wasn't in one, like you said, it wasn't one of those times where they had a lot of the ball. But they caught us a little bit in the corner and got behind our, our right back and then they got across there. And yeah, that's right. Mark, in the second half, you guys had the wind to your back. I was saying on the air that it could have played a factor for you if you take one of these 20 yard shots out, and, you know, maybe Thompson in the street. Uh, what were you trying to do? It seemed like you guys were playing defense the entire time, but like you said, you need to put one of them back in the net, even, even things up or take the lead. Uh, so, what were you telling your offense to make sure that they could get something going? We were trying to get we were trying to get the ball forward a little quicker because of the fact that there was a little bit of a wind and a little bit of a breeze, but we weren't doing a good job getting support behind the first or second guys that were up there and they were able to gain possession and come back at us. And that's something we need to improve on and get better. All right. Well, the boys will wind up traveling on the road this upcoming Wednesday at Army. And they'll start a three-game uh, road trip, and they'll wind up coming back here later on in a couple of weeks. Keep up to date at HartfordHawks.com.